this a fact, oh show, we gon' get into some couple things. I told y'all we gon' do things a little bit different on this one. Um, me and church. We gonna handpick. Handpick church. Handpick church over Versace plate. That's my vibe right now. And I'm sipping a blackberry. South Coast. Alright, damn, nigga, spit man carries out this moment. You see that? I'm gonna get this at, tr- at what they call it, God's Great Paper Straight.com or Triads.com. Um, be Simone, be Simone, be Simone, be Simone. I love doing that Wale video, girl. Well, I love that Wale song with um, and we call it, oh, we got it that Uncle P. Oh, I tell you, the ain't no C tears all in yo. Bryce Attila. That song, I love that. Um, B. Simone catching a lot of backlash because she says she don't want no 9 to 5, man. Now, me personally, I say everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why people want to be so outraged and want to cancel her and shit like that. It's her life, her opinion. She don't want a nigga that working 9 to 5, whatever. But that goes back to what I was saying, how we living in fucking bizarre world. I'm, t- I'm trying to tell you, look, everything ties back. When you're talking real shit, it all ties in together. It ain't no flow in your shit. You feel me? So, here's the, the list of options, baby, if you don't want no 9 to 5, nigga. Um, what, you want an athlete? Okay, nigga, shoot some hoops. Nigga, to run some touchdowns or something like that. Okay, kick a soccer ball or something. I don't know. Well, the majority of athletes end up going broke. I don't know the percentage. Somebody had to fact check that, but... Matter of fact, look at something that's called ESPN 30 for 30 broke. It's how a lot of that's so that's the nigga who don't really have nine to five. Even though technically that's a job. Um, okay, another option. Who's some other niggas that don't have a nine to five? Um, you wanna get an artist? You wanna get like an entertainer, rapper, R and B singer? Okay, well, the majority and probably a higher percentage than the athletes, they end up going broke. Yeah, that's a fact. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm telling you, I I know this because the only reason why I'm rich because I'm self-made and self-paid and I'm independent. They, they sign slave deals. You know, they might get hot. They might make three million dollars in one year. But listen, baby, it's a short-lived uh uh profession. Short-lived three million dollars in one year. That got to last you for the rest of your life. Most of the people coming into that type of money. They don't have no type of uh, uh, financial education. They don't know how to how to manage that type of bread. They don't know how to work for the money to make the money work for them. So, yeah, that's option number two. They're probably going to end up broke. Okay, what's the third one? Third one of, of niggas that B. Simone might like that don't have no 9 to 5. Okay, um, probably a nigga trapping in the streets. I'll tell you this personally because I was trapping in the streets, getting a lot of money. My first video. Trust me, you see me. Um, the trappers, it works all good. They gonna spend the money because money coming fast. They gonna spend it fast. You gonna go on vacation. You gonna get Chanel bags. You know what I'm saying? Like, they might get you a car, whatever, whatever. Most likely, they won't get you a house. It never really happens. I, me personally, I tried to get a a crib and put it in a in a girl name who had a nine to five, and her credit was fucked up because she put a motorcycle in her name for some stupid nigga that was in the streets and who. End up being broke So most times They're not gonna uh, Get anything In your name That's an asset Because we're not thinking That when you trapping You just run around Moving and grooving It's only A, a few Selected few brothers That make the transition From The streets To being legitimate You know what I'm saying This is all facts I'm telling you It's the fact of show So You run around And you and you're doing good Let's say you got a good run Anybody that go out of town You know when you um, When you Put a spot up out of town You want to try to get like A good two, three month run And then just leave That's good So now I don't know What's a drug dealer's self, uh, Shelf life A real chapter shelf life I want to say I really only know Two very, very successful ones I mean really successful Like got millions Got multiple cribs Always got a new V They they, 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 they girl driving The newest V You know what I'm saying Taken care of But I want to say The shelf life on top, ain't really that high. So here's what ends up happening. Be Simone. Baby girl, this is what ends up happening. 
that third option, that trapper that's getting money, getting you bags, all kind of shit. Um, it could even be one of these swiping niggas. They ain't working nine to five. They swiping, getting fast money, boom, boom, boom. They're not managing that money. That money is, is going faster than they're getting it, right? Then, if it's not going faster than they're getting it and they're stacking it and they're not putting it into no assets and they're buying nothing but liabilities, here's what's going to happen. I play roulette a lot. I gamble, I, I shake dice a lot, you know what I'm saying? Um, eventually, it's the lower average. Eventually, you're going to ace out. Eventually, you're going hit, to hit a number that you didn't pick. Eventually, it's going to be three, two, one. that's it, you're done. And the police come and knock him. And when the police come and knock him, you know, I had to say to the old school nigga, man, that's when you, you know you're an asshole full of time. The way old school nigga tell me, the police came and knock him. That mean them motherfuckers in jail doing, you feel me, bro? Them motherfuckers in jail doing the uh, uh, 47 years and no all kind of shit. So when the police come and knock and guess what? They're going to take everything. They're going to take that little car you driving. That was bought with drug money, girl. Um, They're going to take the house you live in. If you was even smart enough to, to purchase a property, they're going to take that. That was bought with drug money, girl. Um. They might just seize everything in the crib, too. So all that jewelry that you might have got, yeah, we're going to take that. That was both with drug money, girl. And then you got to fight to get it back, right? Meanwhile, that nigga sitting in because, you know, they took the extra drugs that he did have, which, you know, niggas never be putting in with they all they own money. You know, me personally, I'm a different type of nigga. But niggas always want to get fronted something. So now you owe your connect. Now the guy's got to pay Jay-Z every month. <laughs> so that was from my shit. Um, streets is watching But now you owe your connect Now they done seized all the money that you had in the crib They done seized any little bit of assets that you have And now the niggas in jail And now you gotta figure out how to pay a lawyer Trust me Most of these niggas do not be having no lawyer on retainer Chuck, If I'm lying, I'm flying And I'm sitting on Tufty Trust me So Now that third option Goes to jail And then guess what Ends up becoming a bill to you Because you can't look like a A, a, a fucking ungrateful bitch You gotta be a rider You gotta be ride or die You gotta sit there with the nigga You know what I'm saying You gotta hold him down Guess who has to get a 9 to 5 now You do You do It's too hot for you to start hustling That's only in the movies Don't believe that When the girl takes over And now she becomes the see stupid fucking novels That uh, uh, chicks be reading and shit Boss bitch Married to the game All these type of shit you're not going to take over and, and go meet the connect and start running the business. They're not even fucking with you. They just want their money. You niggas is hot. I'm done. And now you he becomes a liability. And along with all the other liabilities he got taken, you got a new one. And you got to take care of him. And, yeah, that's how that usually ends. Cool. Um, So those three options, like, get you the fuck out the window. So you once you narrow that down to... The, the part of, you know, a lot of these niggas be, um, a lot of these niggas be sus, you know what I'm saying? So let's say you do find a perfect nigga without no nine to five. Yeah, he probably has a girlfriend. He probably has a wife. Um, he probably doesn't, he's probably bisexual or something, likes men a little bit more. Um... Mm, it might be other things, Pause like his fucking sex game might be weak, you know what I'm saying, so you might want to step out and cheat on him, and you cheat, then he, he breaks up with you, okay, that's it, he's done, Um, it just it's just all kind of things, so it's kind of narrow, so you just really making it slim pickings, and then what happens when you do them slim pickings, you just go from negative, 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 and you just be with from man to man to man to man, so... I think it's your personal opinion, but I think for all the women listening, because like I said, we live in bizarre world where now it's okay to be a fucking junkie, and now that the user is cooler than the dealer, and now it's okay for women to uh, act like hoes and be ratchet. Bizarre world. I'm not for that world. I'm not promoting that world. But for anybody listening and thinking it's okay to not want a nigga with a nine to five, please don't be fucking stupid. Please open your mind and shut your fucking mouth. Please close, close your ears to the dumb shit. Baby, listen. It, it, no, motherfuckers say life is short. No, life is long. And you need to plan for that. You need, uh, uh, you might want to have some benefits, right? You might want to have some benefits. You see all these people walking around here with broken hips with a limp? They had no insurance. 
You better get you a nigga with a career. You better get you a hardworking man. That's gangster. Having a career is gangster. Being a hardworking man, providing for your family is gangster. Same thing with women. You better get you somebody who is who's got some good credit. You feel me? You better get you somebody who got stability. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna fuck off and have fun with niggas who don't have nine to fives while you're um while you're young, cool. But listen, baby, looks fade as time go by. You better go out and get your catch. Because not to mention, it's way less uh 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 it's way less men than there are women. So you better get it while the getting is good, as my grandmother would say, Grandma Phyllis. Rest in peace, man. Um um, I think a lot of nine to five dudes get a get a bad rap, but at the end of the day, and I, I've seen it all the time. At the end of the day, the niggas running the streets, who they call them f- from jail to get help? A nine to five nigga, yo, bro, send me something, bro. Damn, what happened? What happened to all the money, man? All right, I got you. I will get my check on Friday. The athletes who d- look at Vin Baker, nigga, had so many millions, end up working in Starbucks. To we just become a nine to five nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like this happens all the time. So let's not get let's not get brainwashed by this bullshit. Cause that's not what that's not what it's really about in life. And trust me, you you can take my opinion because I'm qualified. I've, I have great credit. I came from the streets. I came from the streets doing all the ignorant shit. And I transitioned to being a fucking multiple. I own eleven properties. I have great credit. Um, I have multiple. Foreign cars and old, I, I own everywhere I live. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not no bullshit. And another thing, there's no cap involved. I'm not out here renting these houses in Hollywood and acting like I'm doing something, paying fifteen, twenty thousand a month. Every time some shit go down, when the cops raid a place or something, you see it. You always see it on TMZ. Oh yeah, the house that celebrity X just filling the name was renting. Motherfucker, you paying fifteen, twenty, twenty five thousand a month for how? Why you didn't buy it? Here go another thing that I'm going to put y'all on to real quick. You see a lot of people like to flex with the black card and black card. It, no. If you able enough and you have good enough credit to get you a, a black card, get the platinum card. I got that from Butch Lewis. God bless the dead. BL, what's up, my boy? Shout out to BL. I'm um, Philly out in Atlanta. BL know this. Butch is a black billionaire. Helped Bob Johnson start BET. Man, is Denzel Washington. He got my video on BET. He was responsible for all that. When when Butch go out and Michael Jordan is dead and it's Denzel and Lenny Kravitz and all these niggas, Butch picking up the tab. So just so you know who you're dealing with. I'm, I'm, I went to dinner one time. Me, Butch Lewis, um, Roberto Cavalli. Um, shout out to my man Dutch in the 90s. He was there. Dutch, Dutch, is, Dutch is just a Brooklyn Crip nigga and he... We just moving and mobbing, and he come out to dinner, and we just here randomly. Butch Lewis, Roberto Cavalli, um, Denzel Washington, um, uh, 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 what's the nigga from the Nice Tale? Um, Heath Ledger, um, and the the African dude with the scar on his face. Heath Ledger and the African dude with the scar on his face. They was just there. They wasn't um with us at the dinner or whatever. We had Cipriani's on West Broadway. Fly shit. I ain't gonna get into no details, but that's so y'all know what's going on. Um, it's real fly shit. Like I'm talking about, it, motherfuckers don't even know. And Cipriani's on West Broadway. They got a a club. This club, you only your face is the, your face is the ticket. That's how you get in. You go up the you go up the fire escape and you go into the little club. Y'all don't know about this. It's okay. Different. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Different type of fly shit. These other people. And these other fucking don't know shit ass junkies there. They'll be like, yeah, let's go to let's go to Childs, go to Childs, we in Childs, everybody go to Childs all day, go to Childs. The fuck is Philippe Childs? I said a long time ago, I ain't have a job in 108 months, and I'm always eating Felipe's for lunch. I, I was doing that before. This is these are my first raps. I've been doing this. This is trust me, man. This is different. Marble tables, crystal glasses. Um, eating cherries over Versace plate. This is different. When you listen to this, you get a different type of vibe. Who you want to take advice from? The dealer or the fucking junkie user? Who you want to... I'm here. The choice is yours. It's up to you. Your choice says more about you than me. So, I said that to say about the card. If you're able to get a black card, 
Do not get no motherfucking black card. Get the platinum card. The platinum card has the same spinning power and does everything that the black card does. But, we talk about American Express here, but you don't have to pay a $5,000 tab every month just to have it. You pay like three, what I pay? Three fifty, five hundred, something like that. But I'm not trying to pay an extra $4,500 just for the clout of saying, hey, I got a black card. Trust me, they respect that platinum titanium card just the same, if not more. When it hit ting, ting, this shit sound like ting, when it hit, trust me, that shit drop on the table, boom. I just saved a lot of you motherfuckers uh, $4,500. You owe me. You, you owe me. I ain't gonna sit cash at me like Young Buck. Shout to Young Buck. I wasn't a shot buck. I couldn't help it. But you niggas owe me. Go go to choyab.com. Go to goddessgreatpaperstraight.com and buy some shit. Because I just saved you $4,500 a month. I mean, a year. Think over the course of 10 years of you trying to ball out and show off. That's $45,000 saved to you by Choi Ave. It's 20 years. That's, that's fucking $90,000 saved by Choi Ave. Most you, the least you could do is go spend a couple hundred dollars with me every year, every season, and get yourself fresh. Cool. That's dope tips from Choi Ave. Um, let's jump in a commercial real quick. Jump in a commercial real quick. That's right. What up, what up? It's your dope boy Troy Ave. This episode of the Facto Show is brought to you by BSB Records. You know we got that um new joint Troy Ave Volume One is out right now. Um, make sure you go download it, stream it, purchase it, tell a friend, and tell a friend, spread the word. You want that good music? You want something that, that you know is actual, factual? You know we got that vibe? And just throw that on Troy Ave Volume One available everywhere that music is available. Okay, and we back. Troy Ave, um, the Facto Show. The show is opinions based on facts. There's so no cap in this joint at all. Um, we just gonna move right along, cause like I said, we doing something different. We got a uh, six nine. He debuts number one with with the Trolls record. Um, a lot of niggas mad as fuck. I don't. Niggas mad as fuck. I I don't know. Is it? A lot of times people would try to uh, they'll try to mask their they'll mask their jealousy behind uh 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 fake morals and 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 shit like that. You know what I mean? It's like. Like fucking Hitler will make up some shit and just be uh 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 saying some shit is true when really nigga you're just upset and you wanna try to destroy all of the fucking uh uh Jews. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta watch that. You gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. It, I'm telling you, this shit is wicked out here. Or whatever. Um they was mad at Nicki Minaj cause she did it and her boyfriend was like, um, guess he was a nigga from jail or something like that and I was all kind of shit. He was a pedophile. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but I seen they was mad at Nikki about hey Nikki, how could you do a song with six nine and shit? Meanwhile, Nikki like, motherfucker, I got my first number one. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. You know what I mean? And um, see the thing, the thing is tricky with Nikki, man, because like, like I fuck with Nikki, but you know this is just me being too loyal of a person because, hmm. I, I don't know, man. It's like, I, I can't... I don't know. I'm too love of a person because then I, at the same time, I fuck with, I fuck with Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've seen Cardi, like, come up from long... T- it's like a video on YouTube, me and Cardi, just kicking and talking shit regular. Like, I fuck with her. But then it's like, damn, Cardi fuck with somebody who don't fuck with me, which is the, um... The little... The, the, the fucking... Forget the, the little bitch name, whatever. But long story long about her, I'll get into that whenever I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? But oh, how the tables have turned. She got that charge, baby. Let's see what what you gonna do. What you gonna do? You take, you got that motherfucking charge. You better hold it down. New baby and all. You better hold it down. You, you the big OG blood, right? You got to hold that shit down. Better not say a peep, a word. It's a fact. And go out like your boy Ratstone. Three, two, one, and say he's done. Haters should not be on the street. Period. Let me. All right, cool. Let me just. I got off side check, y'all. Pardon me. But um, yeah, like I was saying. Oh man, it's a whole backstory on that too. It be when people come out of nowhere and they say shit about me. A lot of times, people like to say they they like to just um 
um, say, oh, what did you, look what Troy Ave said, but they don't know that it originated from somewhere. Anything I do is a reaction. I don't just come out of nowhere doing shit. I don't just do that. I'm most times I'm out of my fucking business getting to my money. You know what I'm saying? This shit don't stop. Shout out to J.O. But like I was saying, Cardi fuck with somebody who, who don't fuck with me. I can't necessarily say I don't fuck with them because I don't even. But I do only fuck with people who fuck with me. So then it's like, ah, where's the loyalty? And, and like, that's that's an issue in, in rap. That's an issue in the streets. That's an issue in the hood. I see a lot of times, like, um, unless you're in a, the mafia or something, like, regular white people in business, they'll do whatever. They'll fuck with everybody. they cut through shit. But I wasn't raised like that. I was raised to be loyal. And loyal is a feeling. That shit feel bad. It feel uncomfortable when you're not being loyal. Even if it's just a little bit. Like, even when, like, it, it was down to, down to shit, like, um, um, you be loyal to, like, um, like, I always went to, uh, uh, fuck with 50 Cent, but Rick Ross was showing love, so, um, you know, we took a meeting, we, we did all kind of shit, and just in the back of my mind, I'm just like, man, these niggas got a beef, man, this shit is fucked up, where the fuck is the loyalty in rap, like, what are the rules to being loyal? Cause I I fit I me personally I would feel away but I I understand and I see the whole shit is fake so it was like damn do you have to do you have to uh conform and become a fake one fucking with this shit it's like even shit like um like with Charlemagne and God how how does he go and fuck with somebody that Angela Yee don't fuck with or how does you know what I'm saying Gucci man says some shit about Yee whether it's true or not but how that's your coworker y'all should be even closer than that how you go do an interview is it Oh well, I gotta do this for my job, or money come, goes over loyalty, or shit like that. Like I don't understand it. Me personally, I don't roll like that. Just like even when um when niggas have have beef, like it's like uh, uh Swiss Beats was dissing um uh Drake the other day, called him pussy, all kind of shit. Whatever, whatever. I don't like all the niggas that fuck with Swiss Beats. Now what you just fuck with both of them, or even like I, I remember I seen it. The streets was in a frenzy. He went with uh Meek. And, and Drake, not to keep bringing, bringing Meek up, you know what I'm saying, because he overall, he a good nigga and shit, but, like, what what happens? I wouldn't even ask, ask them that. Like, what happens to all the niggas who you seen go to the, go to the, and I know, I, I know he be feeling it and keep it in the back of his mind. Like, what happens to all the niggas that you seen go to the OVO concert while the nigga was performing back to back in the middle of a beef? What happened to all the niggas that turn their back on you? Like suckers, like they usually do. How do you feel about them when everybody comes back around? They, they show their hand. This is what I mean about the loyalty and rap. And this is why with certain niggas, it's like you can't say, you can't say, everybody know my situation. You can't be on that side singing free this person to me and then be cool with me. That's that's it. That's an issue. That's a breach of security. That's a flag on the play. I have a problem with that. That's a fact. And I'm not one of these people that just, oh, uh, just, yeah, be smiling and be, and be fake about it. I'm not with that shit. And I don't feel like I should be. I can't listen and hear, I can't hear Charlemagne say free Ratstone and then say R.I.P. the banger. How do you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is that about? Somebody, y'all got to help me understand this and explain this. Is, am I taking shit too personal? Is it just business? And then I look at somebody who will tell me, oh, it's just businesses. Okay, then maybe that means you ain't that real. Maybe that means you a fake one in your heart and you would do that. Because I've never, nigga, I draw my loyalty line in the sand. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. And I don't fuck with nobody who you don't fuck with. Period. If you start fucking with them again, all right, then cool. We all cool together. But that's just how I am. And that's a handicap in this shit that we in. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so it's so many shits, my nigga. It's it's just so many questions. Like y'all could probably hit me and tell me some other people who did where there was beefs and then there's not beefs anymore. But it's so many of those. This shit just is crazy to me. Um I'ma keep it pushing. We'll talk about that later. Even down to how do people go on Vlad T V when he fucking sued Ross? You, do we forget that that fucking Vlad is a a whole fucking informant? He fucking sued Ross. He sued Ross. That means you had to file a, a, a criminal complaint, and then he sued Rick Ross for punching him in the face allegedly or whatever. Then he caught two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So now all you niggas like what? That's just okay. It's okay for you niggas because 
like I say, with the dweebs and these suckers having this format and, you know, getting people indicted. Yeah, we going to go on there and go talk on Vlad because we want to get promo. We want to get the clout. But so you OK with with that. And then in the same time, you'll turn around and being cool and being pictures with uh fucking um with Ross and chilling and shit. You know what I'm saying? No shots at Bosco. Me and Bosco spoke about that. But like many of these artists, I don't I don't get that. I know Ross most times he don't give a fuck. He just smoking his weed, young. But it's like I I feel like when you a real one, that shit loyalty is a feeling and it just feels wrong, nigga. The shit just feel wrong. It's like cheating on a good woman. The shit just feel wrong. You might still do it, but it shit feel wrong. These niggas have no conscience. They'll do. I can't fuck with people that'll do anything to come up, that'll do anything for money, that'll do anything to get on. That ain't that ain't how I'm raised. That ain't how I'm built. Nigga, I'm built different. You feel me? This shit is disgusting out here, B. I ain't gonna hold you, man. And and Snoop Dogg was talking about old black men should uh uh squash beefs, and it's like it's like I'm all for that. I'm not for I'm not a person for the problems. That's a fact. But when when the problems come in me, I deal with them. I deal with them very aggressively. And I and I'm at at the end, I always win. It's the name of the game. I don't start the problem, but I damn sure finish them. So it's certain beefs that I feel like they just can't be squashed, according to the streets. According to the streets. Now this is funny because I I don't know I don't know if Snoop I don't know if Snoop uh, posted that or if he reposted it, but whatever. If you post it, you kind of stand by it. When I posted it, I asked it as a question. Is is there certain beefs that can't be squashed? Because according to the streets, where niggas come from, you know what I'm saying? Snoop, Rolling 20s, Crip. Um, niggas, niggas kill your partners, nigga, you riding. When, like, when do these shits, when do these shits stop? So what about all the homies that died? It's just okay that they died? They just, they died in vain for niggas to be have peace? Like, even niggas in the hood, Niggas be, how, how niggas kill your partner and now all of a sudden y'all cool with the, that mean nigga die for nothing, man. Streets is a myth. That's how I feel. This shit is crazy to me. I'm in bizarre world, man. Maybe there's some, or, or if you're telling me, well, okay, now the rules change according to, mm, we need real rules and real guidelines, man. Too much bullshit going on, man. Um... I don't know. I'm. I want to. Yeah, I want to get out of here and, and under. Oh, we we go with Tom. We go with Tom, bro. Uh, yeah. I want to. I want to get up out of here. Like I said, yo. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. We gonna talk about a lot more. Y'all leave me the, the the comments. Make sure you drop a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Any questions you wanna ask me? Ask me any topics we need to go over. This was just some quick run through it or whatever. But um. Like I said, I said it before and I say it again. Haters gonna hate and come from my head. But no matter how they try to spin it, my life is like a sandwich. You still see the bread. And that's a fact though.